What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today I'm going to show you how to growl on the saxophone. Growling on the saxophone is a raspy distortion sound that you can put on a note to make it sound a little bit dirtier and grittier. You're gonna use this in all different styles of music, but it's very popular in blues and rock. But you're also gonna hear it in jazz bands, funk bands, all over the place. Growling is just kind of like a natural part of playing the saxophone. Growling can be a little bit difficult to teach because we have to do some really weird things because we're trying to get a really weird sound. However, once you figure it out, it's really easy to use and it's gonna be really easy to add into your playing with no problem at all. So let's do this step by step. And the first thing we're gonna do is get our tongue in the right position. So we're gonna do this on a high A, so your A with your octave key. And I'm just gonna play a high A and I'm gonna lower my tongue and that's gonna get me a little flat. As you can hear, when I lower my tongue, the note goes a little flat, but you don't have to worry about it being flat when we actually growl. We're gonna do some things to get it closer to the pitch. And because of the dissonance between the notes that are fighting each other, you're not gonna really have to worry about it being perfectly in tune. Now, what actually causes the growl sound is you have two different pitches that are very close to each other. One is in tune, one is slightly out of tune, and they're fighting with each other. That gives you the really raspy and growly sound. So your first step again is just lowering your tongue to get it in the right position. And then we have to make some crazy sounds. So this is gonna be a little weird because we have to say some weird sounds and make some weird noises. But if you wanna get this weird saxophone sound, you have to do some different stuff with your throat. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a gargle sound in your throat that'll sound like this. I know it's weird, but that's part of growling. So it should be down here, not up here. It should be down here and you should feel a lot of vibration and it might even feel a little raspy and it might hurt a little bit the first time you do it. There shouldn't be any real excessive pain, but just like a little uncomfortable because it's such a different sound that you're making. So once you can make that sound and you've got it down pretty well and you understand how to make that sound using the back of your throat doing a growling sound, I want you to put your hand in front of your mouth. Ah. you're gonna notice that there is no air. We're saxophone players and air is very important. So the next step we're gonna talk about is how to get the growling sound in your throat to happen while getting air to come out at the same time. And it's actually pretty easy. All you're gonna do is take the growl sound ah, and move up into a ooh position. Say the word ooh. And when you're growling, move up into a ooh position and you'll feel that and you'll feel the air start to come out. Again, I know these are crazy sounds and it seems a little ridiculous, but if you want to make a growling sound on your saxophone, you have to do some ridiculous things with your throat. So once you had the raspy sound, the growly sound in your throat, and you moved up your tongue into the ooh position, you could feel the air coming out. Now, when we have the saxophone in our mouths, our embouchure isn't gonna change, but you can still think about moving your tongue up a little bit to get it into the ooh position. And once you do that, you'll have air going into your saxophone with the raspy growl sound going on in your throat, so you'll be growling on your saxophone. So let's do it step-by-step step on the actual saxophone. So I'm gonna start off just by making the growling, gargly sound in my throat without moving into the ooh position. And it'll sound like this. <sighs> Again, I know it's crazy, but that is your first step into getting this growl sound that come out of your saxophone. So once you can do that, then you just wanna keep moving up into the ooh position until the air starts and you'll start to hear a growl sound on your saxophone. So you could hear I had the growl sound and then as I got into the ooh position, the air started and then I got the actual sound on my saxophone. Now, once you're able to do the growl sound fairly consistently, you won't have to do all of the other stuff up front. You'll be able to start right on the growl. Once you're able to growl at the start of the note, then you'll be able to use this technique on pretty much any note that you want on your saxophone. Now, 
Now, the amount of growl or distortion that you're gonna get depends on how violently or how much you're using the gargle in your throat. The more you gargle, the stronger the growl sound's gonna be. The less gargly and raspy the throat is, the less of a growl sound it's gonna be. And then of course, how fast your air is moving into your saxophone, that is gonna be another variable in how much and how loud and strong your growl is. Now, some sax teachers recommend that when you growl that you hum. I think the gargle gives you a stronger growl and it gives you more control, but if you hum, that will work also. I've always done the gargly throat thing just because it gives me a way better sounding growl, a bigger sounding growl that I can control more. But if you wanna do it while humming instead of actually gargling in your throat, that will work as well. So for a quick recap, your first step is you're gonna lower your tongue just to get it in the right position. Then you are gonna gargle in your throat. Ah. Then you're gonna move your embouchure into the ooh position so that you get the air moving forward. Ah. Then you're gonna do all of that on your saxophone. And as soon as it feels really comfortable on your saxophone using those steps to get your growl sound, then you're just gonna start your growl right at the beginning of the note. And that's how you growl on the saxophone. Now I wanna put one disclaimer out there. Growling on the saxophone is super cool, especially when you do it in the right spot. But if you overdo it or you do it all the time, it doesn't sound cool anymore and it doesn't really make the music sound better. So you wanna make sure that when you're growling, it's appropriate for what's going on in the music that you're playing. And now you can add growling into your toolbox of saxophone techniques. Yeah.